My name is Marco Rasponi and I'm an assistant professor at Polytechnic di Milano. My main research areas are microfabrication and microfluidics for cell culture application. In the last years in our lab we have been working on the development of the so-called organo-chip microfluidic devices. This technology exploits cells, biomaterials and microfabrication to recapitulate the function of entire organs into chips with the footprint of a coin. In particular, my team has developed the Heart on Chip device, which is able to generate functional cardiac tissue at a micrometer scale. Thanks to the several advantages of miniaturization, we believe that this device holds great potentialities in the drug screening and discovery fields. Microfluidic technology is uh, an enabling technology which allows to handle uh, very small amounts of cells, molecules and fluids. We are at the nanoliter scale. The fact of translating uh, the experiments to the nanoliter scales uh, has several advantages that can be summarized as cheaper, faster and smaller. Microfluidics integrates into a very small uh, platform several components including chambers where cells are cultured, channels that are used to deliver cells into the chambers and also to deliver drugs and in general molecules to cells. And uh, since uh, our platforms are transparent, we can observe how cells grow and differentiate. Talking about uh, three-dimensional cell culture, we know that microfluidics hold several advantages. First, uh, if for example, we want to create a three-dimensional construct. We don't need necessarily to seed the cells on a scaffold, but we can embed them directly within a biomimetic matrix. And in this particular case, the matrix is an hydrogel, and we can polymerize it and obtain a three-dimensional construct with cells embedded directly within a device. Moreover, scaling down the microenvironment, we don't have the necessity to perfuse with an external system the construct, but considering the small size, we can just take advantage of passive diffusion of culture media to feed cells. Moreover, at this scale, we can achieve with relatively few cells high seeding density, and so in this way we can uh, obtain a, a construct seeded with cells that has uh, a cell density that can resemble the one that we can find in native uh, tissue in vivo. Our device allows to embed the cardiac cells at high density within an hydrogel matrix directly within the, the microfluidic platform. And for the first time we implemented a, a system for uh, stimulate the cardiac construct uh, with a, a cyclic uniaxial strain that is a mechanical stimulation that resembles the physical environment that the cells experience in vitro in the heart. The particular implementation consists in a PDMS uh, microfluidic device that has uh, two uh, main compartments. The first one is uh, the cell culture compartment that uh, is uh, defined by a cell culture chamber uh, in which there are uh, two rows of uh, hanging posts designed for uh, the injection and the confinement of the uh, cell laden uh, matrix and that uh, allow the transfer of the cyclic uh, uh, compression to the cell. The second compartment is an actuation chamber that is made for uh, giving uh, the uh, pneumatic actuation to the construct. And in particular, the idea is to apply a positive pressure in the uh, actuation compartment and in this way we have a movement of the membrane that divided the compartment and uh, uh, this movement transfers the cyclic compression to the cell uh, construct. Much of the current knowledge in cell biology mainly relies on 2D flat surfaces consisting in polystyrene or glass substrates. However, these 2D environments only poorly recapitulate the in vivo environment. Three-dimensional cell cultures have recently emerged as a bridge between 2D cell cultures and uh, in vivo animal models. Indeed, a well-designed 3D model provides uh, more physiologically uh, relevant data in terms of uh, cell function, uh, dose response uh, 
uh, to drug and toxin and cell gene profiling. This enables biologists to perform uh, experiments which were not previously possible with traditional 2D uh, cultures at a fraction of the cost of the animal models. The cyclic strain is uh, transferred to cells which deform currently and upon uh, a certain amount of uh, time under physical uh, stimulations the construct made of uh, cardiomyocytes starts beating spontaneously and uh, the uh, spontaneous beating of stimulated constructs is current and uh, synchronous uh, with respect to the control one. With our system, uh, we think that uh, we could uh, achieve an in vitro model that could be used instead of uh, animal uh, model. For example, for uh, application like uh, drug screening or uh, taking advantage of the fact that we could use a few cells in our system for creating a patient-specific model for studying uh, genetic disease uh, in vitro. A patent application was filed concerning this device and the method to generate functional cardiac microtissues. Together with the young researchers in this laboratory, we are considering to uh, create a spin-off so that uh, this idea can be implemented and can go to the market.